We're ready to go. We're, uh, we have uh, with us, we have Mike Mead and uh, the three Jacks, a Jill and a Joker versus Team Especial, captained by Ellen Tyrell. All right, give me Mike and give me Ellen. Come on down. Okay, we have the top seven answers on the board. For this round, we surveyed 100 student students. Name something people complain about at school. Ellen. Uniforms. Uniforms. Survey says. All right, there's one answer above that, uh, higher than that. Mike, name Homework. something people complain about at school. Homework. Homework. The survey says. Uh, I'm waiting for my team to tell me what to do. Oh, okay. um, what do you think, Miss Breen? You have two play. seconds. Okay, she says play. We're going to play. Play, 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 play. Three play. Jill and Joker will play. All right, so this question is to Todd Decker. Name something people complain about at school. Teachers. Let's see, teachers on the board. Survey says. <laughs> Well, you got a strike, but it must feel good knowing that you didn't make the board. <laughs> <laughs> it was a win-win. It was. It really was. So up next, we have Greg Neely. Name something people complain about at school. Uh, Team Especial, start sending your captain your answers in case you get a chance to steal. So Jessica, be careful. You have a couple of strikes now. You have two strikes. Oh, bathrooms. Bathrooms, survey says. <laughs> and your team is still alive. You have two strikes, and now we're going on to Ryan Horn. Ryan, name something that people complain about at school. Cafeteria food. Cafeteria food, the survey says. <laughs> well, how many X's did I get there? You got five strikes. Five X's. Five. <laughs> That was so bad, you guys. Five strikes and you're out. <laughs> All right. Team Especial, we surveyed 100 student students. Name something people complain about at school. Ellen. Test. Did you say test? Yes. Oh. Test. <laughs> Survey says. And they steal the points. Congratulations, Team Especial. You take the first round. 78 points to you. Let's see what number seven was. A lunch, six. Not enough sleep. And number three, the lanyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I forgot sense. about lanyard. We all did. It's all right. We have Team Especial, 78 points. Three jacks, you have uh, zero points. So anybody's game, we go to round two. Give me Sydney and give me Todd. Let's begin. Sydney and Todd. This is round two. Answer double the points. We surveyed 100 Seton alumni. Name your favorite sport you played while at Seton. Football. Sydney. Sydney. No. What was that, Sydney? Football. Football. Survey says <laughs> that was the number four answer. We still have three, Todd. And your Did we try to you played while at Seton? Uh, basketball. Basketball. Survey says. All right, pass or play, Todd. You guys want to pass or play? Play, play. It's more play, fun. play. We're, We're going to play. play. Uh, Greg, if you have trouble with your, your microphone, go ahead and type the answer in when it's your turn. Uh, okay, so next up, we have Greg Neely. We surveyed 100 Seton alumni. Remember that. This is 100 Seton alumni. Name your favorite sport you played while at Seton. I would say, uh, say baseball. Baseball. Survey says. Uh, response. It wasn't up there. No baseball? No baseball. We have okay. one strike. Jessica Breen, name your favorite sport you played while at Seton. Soccer. 
Soccer, survey six. <laughs> we got two strikes. Oh. We have two strikes, three, three jacks. Uh, especial, start, start grouping together. Send your, your possible skill answers to your captain. All right, Ryan, we have to slow down. We have two strikes, and we don't want you to get five. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give an answer that's kind of wacky. I'm gonna go for track. Track survey says <laughs> it is up there. All right, you're still alive. You can do that two strike rally. You have uh, five answers on the board. Mike, to you, name your favorite sport you played while at Seaton. I think. Not a traditional sport, but it is a sport in a way. I'm going to say Spirit Line will get a lot of votes. Spirit Line or cheerleading. All right, Spirit Line cheerleading. Survey says. Yes, and you are correct. You guys are still alive. You have four answers. You have two strikes. Especial, get ready for the steal just in case. Todd, we're back to you. Name your favorite sport you played while at Seaton. Wow. Um, I'm going to go with softball. Let's see. Softball. Survey says number two. You're still alive. Greg Neely. Questions to you. Name your favorite uh, sport you play while at Seaton. I'm going to say swim and dive. Swim and dive. The survey says. Uh, strike three. We're going to go over to Especial. Ellen, we surveyed 100 Seaton alumni. Name your favorite sport you played while at Seaton. Volleyball. Volleyball for the steal. Survey says. <laughs> and Especial seals the points, 194. That takes you to 272 to zero, if my math is correct. Let's see what number eight was. <laughs> Wrestling. And number seven. <laughs> Cross country. It's all right. Still anybody's game. We're going to round three. Let's have Kaylee and Greg. Come on down. <laughs> so this is round three worth triple the points. The first one to put an X into the chat box gets to answer the question. So for this one, we surveyed 100 seed-in parents. How old would you like your first child to be before their first date? Kaylee. 16. 16. Survey says. All right. Pass or play, Kaylee? Let's play. You guys are going to play. Welcome, Caitlin. We surveyed 100 seed in parents. So remember that this is 100 seed in parents that were asked. How old would you like your first child to be before their first date? 15. 15. The survey says, ooh, that's an answer, strike one. We have Eliana. How old would you like your first child to be before their first date? 14. 14, and the survey says we have two strikes. All right, uh, other team, get yourselves ready for the possible steal. Send your answers to your captain. Ellen, how old would you like your first child to be before their first date? 17. 17, and the survey says those were all great answers. That's strike three. Mike Mead. For the possible steal, if you don't steal this, Especial wins the game. So for the steal and to stay alive, we surveyed 100 seed-in parents. How old would you like your first child to be before their first date? I'm going to go with 13. 13. And really? And this says, <laughs> Especial wins the round. And they win the game. Congratulations, Especial. Big round of applause. All right, let's see what number five was. 30, wow, 30. Number four. One. Number three. 19. And number two, 18. Well, congratulations uh, to Especial on winning the game so far. You'll be moving on to Fast Money. 
Uh, three Jacks, a Jill, and a Joker, thank you for playing and for being part of the Family Feud. Uh, so <laughs> we'll put Enjoy the Dutch Brothers. <laughs> we'll put everybody into the waiting room so we can begin Fast Money. Uh, Ellen, who's going to play Fast Money for you guys? I need two people. Um, Sydney and Kaylee. Sydney, so at the uh, you're going to have 25 seconds. If you have trouble with any of the questions, just say pass, and we can come to it at the end if you still have time. Got it? Yes. All right. Make sure you're unmuted so that we can hear you. And okay. the, time, the time will begin once I finish reading the first question. You ready to win some money for your team? Yes. All right. Let's have some fun. We asked Seton for the first question. We asked Seton teachers. Name something about Seton students you miss. Uh, their personality. Name something you buy by the roll. Well, paper. How many days can you keep a banana before it goes bad? Four. Name an occasion that people frequently forget. Can you repeat that? Name an occasion that people frequently forget. Flag day. And name a type of dinosaur. T-Rex. All right, let's take it to the board. Sydney, time for the big reveal. Number one, we asked Seton teachers, name something about Seton students you miss. You said personality. The survey says. Uh, That's a good one, though. It's all right, you still have plenty of game to go. Name something you buy by the roll. You said toilet paper. Survey says. 39 points, you're on the board. How many days can you keep a banana before it goes bad? You said four days. Survey says, oh. Name an occasion that people frequently forget. You said flag day. And the survey says, oh, that was a tough one. And name a type of dinosaur. You said T-Rex. The survey says, not bad, 84 points. You're still in it. You're 116 points away. So we're gonna put you in the waiting room and we're gonna bring in Kaylee. Kaylee, welcome back. So Sydney did, she did all right. She got 84 points. You're 116 points away from Dutch Brothers. Uh, so we're gonna give you 30 seconds. And if you repeat any of the answers that were given already, I'll, you'll hear this noise and I'll say, try again. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you, try All again, right. again, okay? <laughs> if you have trouble with any of the questions, uh, just say pass, and we'll come to it if we have time at the end. You got it? Okay. If got it. Waste any time, just say pass, and we'll come back to it. The first okay. question will begin after I finish reading the question. You ready to win? Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. Question one. We asked Seton teachers, name something about your students you miss. Their faces. Name something you buy by the roll. Can you repeat that one? Name something you buy by the roll. Uh, toilet paper. Try again. Paper towel. How many days can you keep a banana before it goes bad? Six. Name an occasion that people frequently forget. Anniversaries. Name a type of dinosaur. T-Rex. Try again. Pterodactyl. All right. All right, welcome back, Team Especial and Team Three Jacks and a Jill and a Joker. So we ask, we ask Kaylee the following questions. They were 116 points away. It's still doable. We ask Eden teachers, name something about your students that you miss. Kaylee said, their faces. The survey says 10 points. You're 106 points away. Name something you buy by the roll. You said the towels. Survey says three points, 76 points away. How many days can you keep a banana before it goes bad? Six. Survey says 13. You're getting close. 
Name an occasion that people frequently forget. The anniversary survey says number one. That was the number one answer, anniversary. Name, you're 11 points away. Name a type of dinosaur. Pterodactyl, the survey says. Oh, oh my, 199. T-Rex was number one, that was 29 points. Uh, so you were one point away from winning the $5 gift card to Starbucks or Dutch Brothers. Uh, but great job, Team Especial. We hope you had a good time. A special thank you to our opponents, Three Jacks, a Jill, and a Joker. Uh, thank you guys for playing. Thank you for tuning in. You guys all have a great night. Oh, I can't believe we lost our one point, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> one point away. You guys did a great job. I'm not going to make the dollar if I'm getting the dollar.